I just had another human being. Tell me, Brandon, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. What? We'd been talking for a while. I couldn't tell you if there was context to it. I don't know what he was talking about. I don't know about you, but if that's where the gifts are coming from, yeah, I'm gonna look the gift horse in the mouth. I feel like if a horse is producing gifts from its mouth and you're looking somewhere else, there should be a saying for that. Hey, don't bite the horse's leg when he's producing gifts from his mouth. Yeah, maybe I misheard him, maybe. Okay, or maybe I heard exactly what he said and he said don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Is the horse a gift to me? If it's my horse, I'll do whatever I want. Okay, if I wanna look in the horse's mouth, thank you for the gift, I have things to do. Who gave me the horse? It's not like I'm unappreciative of the horse. Weird gift, but thanks. I think I'll look at my newly gifted horse wherever I so choose. Even if I did misunderstand what this guy said, I, it's gonna take more than one or two words for that sentence to make sense, okay? Don't gift a horse to a horse's mouth. Cannibalism. He was warning me about cannibalism. Don't look at a horse's gifts. Don't look a gifted horse. What if the horse is gifted? Gifted how? That's super offensive. But I could look at a regular horse's mouth? No, I'll look at any horse house. Uh, no, okay? And that still made more sense than what the man said to me. What do you know that I don't? Do you know about the gifts? Maybe this guy was the only guy who knew that this horse produced gifts from his mouth. And then he tried to tell me not to look in the mouth of the horse, but he let it slip that gifts come out of it. Hey, don't look into the gift horse's mouth. Okay, the, the regular horse. Oh, at the window. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I mean, words to live by for sure. I just wouldn't go around looking in anything's mouth, okay? The second thing this guy said to me was, Brandon, are you still riding the goat? At this point, I don't think he's talking to me at all, okay? I think he's on his AirPods talking to another dude, having a logical talk with another man about a farm somewhere that he wants to give gifts to. I wasn't before this conversation or ever in my life riding a goat. I don't know what led you to believe that I'm that type of person, nor will I look in the goat's mouth. I know you didn't tell me to do that, but I won't. Just to be clear, is it okay if I look at the goat's mouth? Can I ride the horse? I don't know what I can and can't do with your animal selection. No, to answer your question, I am not still riding the goat, okay? I have far from removed myself from the situation which is the goat. The goat wasn't producing gifts. I got out of that situation quick. You know what, sell the whole farm. I don't care. The goat's not producing gifts and the horse don't go nowhere. I wouldn't have done any of those things even if he never had told me not to. I couldn't tell by his tone if riding the goat was a bad thing or not. Is the goat gifted? Do the goat and horse know each other? More and more every single day, I think I'm losing the ability to understand my own language. Don't look a gifted goat in the horse. He could have said that and I would have understood just about as much as I do now of the conversation. Is there a limit to the gifts? I got birthdays coming up. What if one of the horse's gifts was the goat that I could ride? And now I'm being reprimanded for riding it? I think he made up both of those sayings, okay? Can the goat ride the horse? The next time I'm in an argument and I don't know what to say, I'm just gonna tell that person to stop riding goats and then accuse him of looking in horses' mouths.